Let's talk about consistent and inconsistent backup. What's up, internet? I am Manish from RebellionRider.com. Today, I'll talk about backup performed in Oracle during two states of database. So without further ado, let's start the tutorial. In order to truly understand these two types of backup, you first need to understand the process of data storage in Oracle database. Let me tell you. In simplified terms, database stores data in two ways, persistent and transient. So you ask, Manish, what is persistent storage? Well, as the name suggests, persistent storage is the information that is saved on the disk and is permanent in nature. These are the information that database saved in data files as well as in archive read logs and online read log files. You should know that certain amount of memory is allocated to SGA. But these memory areas cease to exist when you shut down the database. Hence the name transient. So now that you know about these two ways by which database is storing the information, you will better be able to understand the two types of backups. When the database is shut down properly using shutdown, shutdown transactional and shutdown immediate command, it updates the persistent storage with all the information from transient storage. It makes them both consistent with each other. When you shut down the database like so and then take the backup, it is called a consistent backup. In simplified term, you can say that backup which is taken when the Oracle database is shut down is called consistent backup. Simply because no new information is being added or removed from the database. It's static, hence the backup is consistent. The one single disadvantage of consistent backup is that it is impossible to completely shut down the database and take backup, especially with large companies that cannot afford to shut down their databases even for a minute. So in such cases, inconsistent database backup is a better option. Let me tell you more about it. Inconsistent backup is also known as online backup simply because it is taken when the database is up and running or you can say in archive log mode. You can check out my video on online and offline backup if you haven't already. Link is on your screen as well as in the description. Anyways, since Oracle does not update data files each time certain data is changed, hence when backed up, the data becomes inconsistent. The file headers of data files and control files are not synchronized, hence the name inconsistent backup. The word inconsistent make it sound like as if it's a bad thing, but that's not true. Well, inconsistent backup does not necessarily mean a bad backup. It's just a name given to a backup process done in a scenario where it is not possible to shut down a database even for a minute. For example, ATC system. In fact, a properly taken inconsistent backup that includes all the necessary files, including control files, redo logs and archive logs, could save your database from catastrophic events. Then, should I go for consistent or inconsistent backup? You as a DBA have to decide what kind of backup should be taken depending on the scale and the nature of the database. If your environment allows you to shut down the database and you can tolerate significant downtime, then go for the consistent backup. Otherwise, inconsistent backup is always there. But always make sure to put your database in archive log mode. We will learn how to do that in the next tutorial. Meanwhile, check out the corresponding blog on the same topic for more details. Link is in the description. I think that's enough for this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, press the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Hope you enjoyed watching. If so, then please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from RebellionRider.com.